Okay, awesome question from uh, my longtime student, Greg Thornton, back in uh, Missouri, who's dealing with everything, the same thing everybody in Missouri is dealing with right now, or anywhere in the Midwest or Northeast, for that matter. Uh, it's the spring, and it's been freezing cold and snowing for like the last, I don't know, four months. So everybody's kind of cold uh, in many ways, so to speak. So they're, they're wondering, Greg is wondering, how do I get kind of the rust off and... Um, get out there and start playing without hitting thousands of balls? And that's a great question because um, even in Southern California, there's a lot of times, I mean, I'm, I'm teaching a lot and uh, I'm not getting out to practice as much as I'd like. And there are a lot of times when I can't get to the range and practice as much as I'd like to. Um, and and it's, it's scientifically proven that just uh, imagining yourself making good swings is nearly, if not as valuable as actually making good swings. And so that being said, it may even be more valuable for you to imagine yourself making a perfect swing or potentially watch a video of yourself when you were swinging really well. That might be more valuable than going to the range and, and you know, making not so many great swings over and over and over again. So if you can imagine you go to the range and let's say you hit 100 balls or 200 balls and out of those 200, maybe you hit 25% of them like you'd like to or, or it could be less this early in the year for a lot of guys. So... If you hit 25% of those 200 balls, that's only 50 good shots. However, if you watch a swing that you've made in the past that's really good or look at pictures of yourself in a good position, um, that's probably going to be more valuable than 150 poor shots and 50 good ones. Or you can find a guy whose swing you'd like to emulate or you really you try to emulate. Find a guy on YouTube who has a great swing that you really like and watch that one in slow motion or in full motion or... Watch Bobby here crushing it down the fairway. That wouldn't hurt either. But, but yeah, definitely you can do a lot that doesn't even require you going to the range or hitting balls. Just, just imagining yourself making good shots or watching yourself on video when you have made good shots. Or if you don't have that, you can just find somebody whose swing you really like to emulate and watch that swing over and over and over again. Because as I said, and, and I, I wish I had kind of the data behind me, but there's plenty of stories... Um, that show that science has proven or, or it's been proven over experiments that visualizing or mentally practicing can be just as valuable, if not very, very close, as actually practicing. So, yeah, try that.